Have you ever been out of the country? Do you have any plans to go out of the country anytime soon? If so, we are going to talk to you today about the number one thing that should be on your packing list and that's travel insurance. So Mike, I know that you travel a lot. Normally he's in Mexico right now, but you were just there. So tell us a little bit about why you get this kind of a policy when you, when you go to Mexico. You know, I was, and, and I didn't want to come back by the way. <laughs> Interesting. I've been in this the insurance business for 30 years, but it really took a client of mine who had an incident happen to his son to, for me to understand the value of travel insurance. One of my client and a friend, his son went on a school vacation or a school trip. He was 18 up to Iceland. And when he got to the airport, he, there was a place, a kiosk that he could buy insurance. So he went ahead and bought that for him just for his son. It was like $40, I think. Well, lo and behold, his son gets up to Iceland a couple days in. He's got abdominal pains, ends up having an appendicitis. Now the travel insurance covered it. It was about 4,500, 5,000. So it really wasn't that much, but he had a high deductible health plan and had his insurance would have covered it, but he would have been paying for that full 5,000 out of pocket. So for $40, he basically got a $5,000 benefit that really made a lot of sense. Yeah, absolutely. And so one of the things that we'll see is, you know, little accidents like that, but we also have seen where even worse things can happen. So one story that I know Michael has told me time and again, that always really scares me for parents and grandparents, older people that are vacationing a lot because now they can afford it and they have all the time off in the world. So they end up in, I think it was Mexico it was. Um, and unfortunately pass away. And so this particular family did not have any travel insurance. And in this case, the big cost was getting somebody home. And how much was that, Mike? I think it was 20, 25,000 that they had to spend to, uh, to have their uh, loved one brought back into the United States. So it was really a shock, shock to them. And yeah. not only just getting back, they had to fly down. Uh, this was in Cabo. They had to fly down and, and do that. So as I mentioned, I really hadn't thought about travel insurance that much. I do travel a lot with my wife. My wife makes me travel a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Poor thing. <laughs> um, so ever, ever since that story, we uh, use a service, a company called GeoBlue, that we always purchase this type of coverage. And you know, a lot of people aren't aware that their health insurance will pay for it, but they're not gonna pay for it while they're there. Mm -hmm. So you may have great coverage but the health plan is not going to write a check to that vendor when you're overseas. And the other thing is normally it has to be an emergency. If you're just going to go in for something routine while you're overseas or you're, you're away from the country, most insurance coverages don't, don't pay for that. So, uh, these types of plans you can get the one that, uh, that I used has a million dollar benefit. So, It'll cover you, you know, up to a million dollars. What what might happen? There's no deductible. You can buy deductibles. It lowers the premium a little bit. Mm -hmm. uh, to repatriate somebody, they have a twenty five thousand dollar benefit. Another thing that happens a lot is if you get sick in another country and you know very sick and you need to come back to the United States, that transportation service is all there. So what's really nice is you get this particular program, they give you an ID card, you have a policy. So you have all that information you can take with you when you're on the trip and you have the resources. They have an 800 number that you can call so if, or that your loved one could call if something happened to you. Yeah, and one thing that I really like about these plans is they actually are pretty affordable. Um, I got one a few months ago. My husband and I went to Italy for 10 days and we were really surprised at how affordable this plan was for both of us. I think it was a hundred bucks and we were completely covered, didn't have to worry about something bad happening to us from a financial standpoint. And so they're pretty affordable. If you're an individual, it's super easy. It takes less than five minutes to get one of these plans. We actually have a link in our description below where if you need one, you can get one from GeoBlue that Mike had mentioned. And if you travel for work a lot, this is 100% something that you should always have because your employer really should pay for it and shouldn't have a hard time doing it again because they are pretty affordable. And when we look at, especially if you're traveling with a couple or a family, when you start to look at some of those family out of pockets for healthcare, where it could be 10, 20, 25,000 in some cases, 
that's really a, a benefit that can help offset what those costs would be. You know, we've seen people get in accidents overseas where they incur significant costs. So think about it as an employer, think about uh, making sure that your employees are aware of that when they travel, as Shannon mentioned, both on business, but also on pleasure. And if you're an employee, definitely be thinking about uh, this type of coverage next time you uh, start packing that suitcase and thinking about your next trip. For the best information on healthcare, retirement, and on travel insurance, make sure you subscribe to our channel and click the bell to be notified when we come out with new videos.